A movement director is a person who specialises in movement, has an interest in the body and physicality. A movement director is somebody who creates a kind of movement scape for a show. The most important job I find for a movement director is in the creation of an ensemble. But I'm, talk I'm not talking about a chorus or the ensemble on stage, I'm just talking about the company. I think the main jobs of a movement director are to look after the actor who is the instrument of carrying the movement, if you like, or needs to embody any movement ideas within them. So looking after them, preparing them for what has to be done. But the main job is also actually to create uh, an atmosphere where movement, uh, working physically, is a very natural progression from working with text. In its most basic terms, I think you build the ensemble through the warm-up through the beginning of the day. The thing that puts everyone on a level playing field, that it creates trust, it creates an openness, uh, it creates an ability uh, to, to work with each other in a way that, is, that takes longer to achieve if there's the, maybe the, the, the guardedness that sometimes comes from just sitting around a table. Actors have a lot to take on board and a lot to consider um, within their characters, within the world of a play and you want to support them to bring that physical expressiveness through that work. The relationship between the movement director and the director is a very close one. For the movement director, it's about understanding what the vision of the director is. So working on Edward II, uh, I worked with Joe Hill Gibbons, who was the director. There was a large group of, we called them the dogs. Um, we worked with how you can somehow express or have in your body a sense of tension and a sense of horror. There's a very important difference between a movement director and a choreographer in that a choreographer can choreograph things. And I, whenever I, whenever I talk to a new collaborator about working with them as a movement director, I'm very clear that I'm not a choreographer. A choreographer is someone who writes with movement and essentially that is a, something that's seen as a standalone art form. Choreography could be more uh, about a set sequences or I mean it's definitely like that for musical theatre so if you know there's always a choreographer it's often quite rare to have a movement director for musical theatre because there are set sequences set numbers whereas sometimes or often in movement direction there's not so much a set numbers that kind of come in happen and leave um, so it's more maybe of an overarching arc throughout the whole thing. Movement language to me is the movement basis from which you're starting in the play and that could be from Javanese dance to Swedish exercises to the waltz to an invented movement language that involves a type of relaxation or strength or a use of weight. You, you're the movement language. You, you know, what you're doing with, with your hands and how your legs are crossed and what you're doing with your head, that's, that's, that's a movement language. But it can also go into a more um, psychological place, so a movement language could be uh, something that, if the play has a lot of tension, uh, an underlying anxiety, for instance, you might work with finding out how that might manifest in bodies, for instance. When it is something that is clearly physical, uh, it's, it's clear to see. Um, but I've worked on a production where the movement work was very much part of the beating heart of the work. It was a two-hander, and so the movement work wasn't about creating any sort of movement sequence, I would say, but was about just forming a vocabulary of how these two men connect with each other. It's observing the world. That might be human beings. It might be a leaf blowing across a bridge. It's how three people are sitting in a room and, and their relationship to each other and their relationship to the space around them. It's just, it's just looking at the world and seeing it move um, and using that as an inspiration. But I'm encouraged that I see more practice within theatre. And also I would say very much so that writers are really writing for movement to be in plays. 
but most of all, don't think about it as a single element, because it's not. It's, it's part of a much bigger picture and you have to have an understanding of that bigger picture. I think I would like the audiences to know that there's this activity that goes on that's a little bit intangible, it's quite hard to hold on to, it could be invisible, but it's actually there and has made a lot of difference to what has happened.